Hello and welcome to the Kenneth Rickman Law Office Legal Podcast, the NJ Laws 2. In this edition, we look at terroristic threats, which in New Jersey, the statute is 2C colon 12-3. I'd say uh, terroristic threats is an indictable offense. Sometimes the county prosecutor will remand it to the municipal court as harassment um, or disorderly conduct. Um, but if it's kept in the superior court, the state has to uh, charge the following. Uh, a person is guilty of a crime if he threatens to commit any crime of violence with the purpose to terrorize another or in reckless disregard of the risk of causing such terror. Two, a person commits a crime if he threatens to commit a crime of violence with the purpose to cause evacuation of a building, place, or assembly or public transportation. So the prosecutor has to prove uh, and they have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt the defendant made a threat or threatened to commit a crime of violence against and, you know, certain victims. It can't be just, um, you know, the, the general public if it's um, a terroristic threat on a, on a person. Um, the threat to commit a crime of violence was with the purpose to terrorize another or in reckless disregard of the risk. Three, or three, that the threat to commit a crime of violence was to cause the evacuation of a building, place, or assembly. Now, there's different elements of offenses, and a, purpose, a person acts with a purpose respect for, to the nature of their conduct if it's a conscious object to engage in that type of offense. Let's say a person acts purposefully with respect to the circumstances or the person is aware of the situation and the circumstances, and they hope or believe that they can terrorize the person. Uh, since terroristic threats is an indictable charge uh, where there's potential jail time of three to five years in prison, then it's important to immediately retain experienced counsel. Uh, for other information, visit website njlaws.com, that's njlaws.com, or website benotguilty.com, that's be not guilty.com. For other information, call the law officer Kenneth for Cameron. 732-572-0500. Thank you and good luck.